for Alpha, one for Jordan Carr, two for T Monster, or three for Wesley Wolf. Five hundred space nightmares from one to ten thousand jokers. This is a title match, so all bets are doubled. Have five minutes to place your bets. Making his way down to uh, the ring. He is a member of the Blood Brothers Federation. He is Alpha. The following contest is a battle royale. And it's for the total all-star male championship. Making his way to the ring from Raleigh, North Carolina. Weighing in at 321 pounds. Alpha. By the way, Blood Brothers Federation are the Joker's World Tag Team Champions. So Alpha's looking to be a two belt. Alpha two belt. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our fatal four-way match. And one of these superstars will walk away from here with plenty to brag about. While the other three will likely be wondering what went wrong for them here tonight. This is a battle royale. Making his way down to uh, the ring. And his Jordan a car from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 220 pounds, the chosen one, Jordan Carr. Guys, we have four of WWE's biggest names set to do battle here tonight. And Michael, I can realistically see any one of these four superstars winning this match, which is what makes this match so unpredictable. Making his way down to uh, the ring. He is a member of the Blood Brothers Federation. He is one half of the Joker's and World Tag Ramon, Team Champions. He is Team Monster. Pounds. He is one half of the World the Monster. Sounds like this crowd is ready for this fatal four-way match to get underway. And at the risk of sounding impulsive, this match has the makings of being a match of the year candidate.
making his way down to uh, the ring. He is known as the title collector across all E-Feds. He is a member of the Blood Brothers Federation. He is uh, one half of the Joker's World Tag Team Champion. He is a 13-time JJI Broadcast Champion. He is the King of Winter, which that belt will be retired and replaced for the spring. He is a former world title. He is West this battle royal has all the elements of an instant classic. Wesley Wolf is the fresh horse in this match as he got the tournament by for being king of winter at the conclusion of the winter season. Speaking of, I need to check on Wesley Wolf. He didn't tune in at all today. Typically, he tunes in. Or if he's all right. That is the title that will replace the King of Winter title. And that is what they are fighting for today. This is a battle royale. The four men in the ring are set. One of the most chaotic contests a superstar can compete in is a fatal four-way. Anything Again, I will not be commentating be because instant. I'm about to lose my voice, but I will announce eliminations. And you got to think Jordan Carr is at a disadvantage as he has three members of the Blood Brothers Federation in that ring with him. And Jordan Carr has no backup. However, the only time the Blood Brothers Federation fight one another is when, well, in a case like this, that one title win is a title win for all of us. But he's got to be careful not to take too much more punishment here if he wants to be the one walking away with the win. He's not looking like himself here. He needs to make sure he doesn't get double. Jordan Carr's been eliminated. A crucial point in the match here, guys. He's got a target on his back now, and I wouldn't be surprised to see a three-on-one attack here. Team Monster's been eliminated. We are down to Wesley and Alpha. One of these two will be the inaugural King of Spring. Wesley taking it to Alpha right now. Reversal amongst these two. They both have about the same power and size advantage and a similar move set. Oh, it looks like Alpha's got a little bit of a height advantage on Wesley. And they were standing there in front of one another. That's how I was able to tell. And Alpha's been eliminated by Wesley. Wesley's now your king of spring. That was the back of that amazing action. That was a quick match. <laughs> and here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here is your winner and new total all-star male champion, the villain, Wesley Wolf. And there's the last one standing. What a match. I can assure you, Michael, that that match was just as tough mentally as it was physically. You're watching WWE live from Los Angeles. And like I said, Wesley kind of had the advantage up? as he was the most rested because he didn't have to fight his way to the finals. He got the bye for being the king of winter. Now we are down to our final match of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, and then we are going to go raid one of a, a close friend of mine if he's still alive.
All right, we got Gale. Against Katomi. Against Ruby Azriel. Ruby Azriel got the bye just like Wesley for being the Queen of Winter at the conclusion of the season. And bets are live. Place bets, place bets, space zero for Gale, one for Katomi, or two for Ruby. Five by space minus for one, two. Jokers. I'm not quite sure about this one, so I'm going to play a safe bet. I'm going to go with Katomi. This is a three-way elimination style match. So it always be the final competitor standing, kind of like a Battle Royale or Royal Rumble. Look at that. We've played all the way into the morning hours. <laughs> Making our way down to uh, the ring. The Gale. Gail has one of the weirdest the entrances. Is an match. She comes out all fierce and ends up dancing down the aisle. <laughs> female championship. Making her way to the ring from Geneva, Switzerland. The Warrior Princess. Told you. This is not your traditional match, guys. And this one falls count anywhere in this arena. And if I'm a ticket holder, I'm on extra high alert during this one because there's a good chance this one ends up right beside them. Making her way down and to uh, the ring. First. She From is Katomi Koga. The rules here are simple, guys. The deciding fall can take place literally anywhere inside the arena. And spoiler alert, there's a good chance that fall doesn't take place inside the ring. Not if this is like the Falls Count Anywhere matches we've seen in the past. This is the Queen of Spring Finals. It is our, our last match of the stream. And then uh, we're going to go raid someone if he's still alive. Making her way down to uh, the ring. She is the and Queen of Winter. Who will actually be retiring that title? Eastern will she replace it with the champion. Queen of Spring title? She is Ruby Azriel. First time I've ever seen Ruby come down the ramp. Typically, she comes through the crowd, kind of through for a loop there. <laughs> What is up, Natala? Heading into this triple threat match. My score 
lot of times you'll see a competitor lurking in the weeds. Just Thank you for the tuning right back in. This is no now the what is up, I Wesley? Do. I was just talking I about you. Any of those <laughs> idly here I was just like, man, I need to check on Wesley. I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> I've been tuned in all day. <laughs> This is the final match of the stream. It is for the Queen of Spring. Uh, we have our three competitors, as is Katomi, Gale, and Ruby. The winner of this will become Queen of Spring as the Queen of Winter title is now uh, going to be retired after the conclusion of this match. And then we are going to... Um, I'm probably going to go uh, invade someone else's stream if he's still alive. Or not alive, if he's still, if he's still alive. I know he's alive, if he's still alive. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is a three-way elimination. Boss Con anywhere match. It's been a long stream. Been streaming for uh, about 286 minutes now. I think what he meant by uh, Natal Natalia, I think um, he was talking about, um, I was talking about Wesley and how I need to check on him and then he tunes in. I think that's what he meant by that, what Team Monster meant by that. <laughs> I reopened the bets since you guys just tuned in. Katomi is in the red, Gale is in the dress, and Ruby has the red hair. For those of you wondering. Devastating kick. Wow, oh wow, Gale just took both competitors down. She stood strong. I've never seen that before. Demise if it's your child, you're not babysitting. <laughs> That's what I was told. If it's your child, you're not babysitting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. She's in control. I think she's trying to prove the point here. Here we go. Ruby taking it to Gale. Ruby trying to eliminate Gale. We got a one. We got a two. And Gale kicks out. She's still in this one. Brain Buster. That's true, She's Natalia. Though I only have one son, but my baby mama, she had a kid from the three. Five at the time my son was no four at the time my son was born and they used to play they still play with each other all the time Gail trying to pin Katomi Katomi kicks out she's still in this one uh oh we know what's coming next we're about to see the boom. face first. Byron, before you mention the strategies, we've seen this before. Man, Katomi showing some strength with Gale. How much more punishment needs to be dipped out? Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Oh, lovely. 
Lefty Monster. That's just great. Avi, well, luckily in my area, at least around where I live, knock on wood, no one has gotten that yet. It's all up north. But, I mean, Illinois is really buckling down. All schools are closed until May. Or, no, until the end of this month. The universities are switching to um, online classes only after the spring break. So. And there's no toilet paper in the stores out here. Katomi showing some aggression against Gale. And my opinion, and my opinion only, is the media is blowing this way out of proportion. Katomi drops Gale on her head. Goes for the pin. Gail could be pinned. We got a one. We got a two. And no, Gail kicks out a two. Man, the women's match has lasted longer than the men's match did. The men's match had one more competitor than the women. <laughs> Gail taps out. We are now down to Katomi in the Queen of Winter. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets... That's, that's how my son was when I lived there. My son was the exact same way. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean... I'm sure my son still is. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Looking for the win. Yep, that's how my son was. Always moving. And I think he still moves. Like I said, I I haven't lived with him and his mom since August, so I don't know. Brainbuster by Galen Katomi. We got a one, we got a two, and Ruby is your winner. T-Mots with the big bet. Well, I mean, there's a story behind that T-Monster, and I, I'm not going to go into details on stream. If you really want to know kind of what's going on, um, I'll, I'll chat for you in Discord. So Ruby Azriel is has replaced her Man Queen of, of Winter title with the Queen of Spring. And last but not least, there was this. Alright, so let me see if what's his face is still on. If so, we'll go invade him. Coming up big here for two of WWE's best. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest. He is still live. So. Yeah, that's what I mean, this whole state. I'm going to try something. I've never tried it before on the Streamlabs chat bot. So, thank you for the sparks. So, we are going to try this. I don't know how quite it works. So, we are going to... Um, we're going to try it, I think. I hope. I don't know. <laughs> I might not try it because it might just cut the stream out completely. Let me check the settings on this real quick.
Actually, I might want to try that at a different time when I can kind of look into it a little. So we're just going to go ahead and host him. Um, I am going to end the stream here, and we are going to go ahead and host Dirty Little Hamster. So, um, everyone, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for new files. Thank you for new hosts. You guys are the true MVPs. I'll be streaming again. Um, and, well, hopefully Monday at 1 p.m. If not, then I will stream again uh, next uh, weekend, uh, next Friday. Don't forget, next week is our JJI versus WWE pay per view. So, so uh, without further ado, we are going to go and host and raid Dirty Little Hamster. I'll see you on his chat. Maybe. I got to figure it out. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done one. <laughs> 